Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I should have caught that fairy. <laughs> whatever, whatever. Uh, actually, hold on. As long as I'm here, it's it's good that I kind of kind of flop that here. <laughs> what I wish what I should do here is go in here because remember, 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 there is a fairy fountain right up. Oh wait, I guess. Yeah, it is a fairy fountain if I drop down here. Uh, yeah, drop down here and then you go over to said fairy fountain here and then you can fill up on your fairies to almost your heart's content. <laughs> Why I say almost is because, you know, you, you can only have so many bottles at one time. <laughs> Alright, back up to the top of Death Mountain, please. Alright, our sparkly spot right here. Now I'm going to use the mirror in the proper place, <laughs> which is about here. And then I'm going to hop down like I was going over to the Tower of Hera, but not quite. What, I, what I'd like to do is go over to this way, because remember this tablet over here? Remember, remember, remember the one that you got to translate with the Book of Medora? Hold up the Master Sword and you'll get the magic of either! Woo! Oh, well, we destroyed the tablet, but we got the Ether Medallion! This is really similar to the ba uh, Bombos Medallion, I mean, a uh, Quake Medallion, excuse me, in that uh, you can use it to kill pretty much everything on screen. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, oh, that freezes, that's right. This is the one that destroys things on screen, right? Right, right. Yes. Oh, it also transforms. <laughs> Forgot about that. Yeah, obviously I don't use these sort of medallions all that often, it just... Yeah, th by the way, these are slimes, probably the weakest enemy in the game. Slow and predictable. But anyway, now, <laughs> now what I'm going to do here is flop over to... Two, 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 number eight. And with the power of our Titan's Mitt and the power of our Flippers we can make our way over to the fifth dungeon. And now, this dungeon, in my opinion, is probably the steepest uh, difficulty increase in the game. So, if, if you want to do this a little bit later, I wouldn't blame you. <laughs> oh, no, no, don't take my arrows, please. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> I don't think that was going to hit me, by the way. Anyway, here we are. Oh no! Oh no! It's the signature enemy of the dungeon! It's the Freezor! What should I do? Oh, well, I got this fire rod here from another dungeon. Oh, look at that! It just melts! <laughs> Link, the magic flames will protect you inside this icy dungeon. So, yeah, that's what you need the fire, uh, fire, fire rod for. And I wish I had the power of sword beams here. Because this is a slippery floor, and this is what makes this dungeon such a huge increase in difficulty. Because you because you have to try and control yourself to land where you need to on certain doors while, while other things are attacking you. And it is incredibly annoying, let me just put it that way. Get out of here, Zolz. Get out of here. Uh, otherwise, this dungeon isn't really super complicated, it's just a thing of that... It is dang hard. His penguinator is. <laughs> Maybe I should have used the medallion. <laughs> yeah, ether freezes, quake destroys. Gotta remember that. Okay, so we want to get this room cleared out so that you can get a compass. Oh yeah. Uh, I don't really think there's any walls to bomb, if I'm not mistaken, in there, so I'm just gonna move on. Let's just check. Yeah, there's no... Yeah, I don't, at least I don't think so. Because I don't have the map yet, that's why I'm kind of unsure. I always question myself when I don't have the map, that's why I like seeing the map as soon as possible. Just helps me so, so much. Yeah, yeah, ooh, ooh, so, ooh, okay. Stop it, stop it, stop, oh. Stop. Yeah, it's, oh no. I bet there's another one under there. Oh, there's not. Oh! Oh, you just transformed me back. Thank you. 
Although I'm not too happy to hear that uh, low health beep, so what I'm gonna do is get out the magic powder and... Zoop! Yeah! Alright, I am remembering things! What should I have out? What should I have out? I'm gonna get hookshot out, I guess. It's long range. Uh, that's for something for later, that's right, okay. That's just a sort of hint, I guess you could say. And this switches to open the doors back through here. Floor switch, that's obvious, opens all three doors. And then we move on. Okay, let's just wipe out those right there. And uh, how do I... I forgot how this works. Like, I think I have to bomb the switch or something, or I have to hit... I mean, yeah, I know I need a switch to get over here, but... I'm just thinking how to do this most efficiently, I guess you could say. Oh! I've really got to be more careful here because this dungeon is a pain, and I do not want to die and have to restart it from the beginning. Just saying. Okay, so I'm going to plop that there, go to this side, and then it's a switch. And uh, we plop this here, destroy that, because obviously it's going to be a floor that opens up. And here we are. This is a Staffos room, if I'm not mistaken. Or, I mean, a Skeleton Knight room, yep. You cannot destroy the Skeleton Knight with the sword alone. When he collapses, he is vulnerable to another weapon. And that other weapon is bombs! And quite effectively, actually. Just wipes them out in one shot. This is actually one of the easiest enemies in the game because of that, as long as you uh, keep your distance when it falls from the ceiling. Because you just knock it down with one swipe of your sword, and then you uh, drop a bomb where it is, and it's done. Okay. Moving on. Oh no, not this room. The switching floor direction room. Look, watch this, watch this. It's actually going to switch in the other direction after two cycles of starting and stopping both ways. Oh, it actually does it twos, twosies one way and... Oh no, what? what? How does this work? Oh, I mistimed that. Totally mistimed that. <laughs> okay... Yeah. Oh, key please, thank you. Ah! I didn't know which one had it, but I knew someone had it. Okay... Yeah! Take that! Oh, this room. So annoying. I don't know if I was supposed to hit that switch, but probably. <laughs> I just hit it just in case. I was not supposed to hit it! Great. And... What? I was I was watching the... I was watching the holes too much, and I lost all composure. <laughs> That's the Babusi, by the way. Those, uh black squiggly enemies that run across the floor. They aren't that difficult, really, in all honesty. It's just a thing of that... You got this floor, and it's annoying. <laughs> Alright. I'm doing my best here, I assure you. It's just... It's annoying, and I gotta get the hang of this dungeon all over again. I think I'm gonna touch that switch. No, I'm... Oh, I did. Psst. I was gonna say, I think I'm gonna touch that switch when I pass by it again, but... Oh, no, no, please don't knock me down the hole. Uh, okay, there's gonna be a bunch of zoles here. Uh, what's the point of this? Let's open the door back, I guess. Oh! Hearts, please. More hearts. I guess it's okay. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Are you there? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, shoot! I wasn't turning because I was on the slippery ice floor. I was pressing down, but I wasn't turning down. Dang, you slippery ice floor. Dang, you slippery ice floor. Ah! Uh, uh. Yeah, I gotta definitely get the hang of this. And this is another thing, when you're sliding, you cannot go through doors no matter how hard you try. That is a deciding factor on what makes a room fair or unfair, like this one right here. Because I gotta get to the, make way to those stairs there, and uh, in order to get down those stairs, I cannot be sliding in any sideways direction while I'm trying to get in the stairs. And, okay, there we go. <laughs> it's so stupid. Um, oh, 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 oh. I think I need to bomb the floor there, but uh, I'd like to take care of you first here. Uh, just explode everything. Okay, so it's there, and let's just try this first before I try that other one. Uh, uh, I was that gives you the uh, uh, blue mail, which allows you to uh, uh, take half the damage. Pretty nice item, but I'm not ready for it. I don't have the big key yet. <clears throat> but that is the one that I'm supposed to drop down later to... Aha! Uh, Anti-fairy. I should probably use you to actually get another fairy, if at all possible. Oh! oh, oh. This is tricky! Oh! 
<laughs> Especially on icy floors. Well, this isn't icy. Me, I can work it on the corner here. That is using my resources to my advantage. If I ever said, if I ever said so myself, and I have said that many times, so that the, that the saying means nothing to me. <laughs> All right, sparkly guys. Eh. Yeah, I know that's their eyes sparkling, but it looks like the, the hole sparks before they go in. You, it's kind of hard to figure that it's, it's eyes unless you know they're coming. Okay. I'm going down. Just remember that switch is in the upper right corner there. Oh yeah, this one. Uh, you can sort of cheese your way through this by bombing, like hitting yourself with a bomb and hitting yourself across that gap. But it's it's not the easiest thing to do, and uh, yeah, nor is this room easy to do in itself. <sighs> I just you gotta you have the right gotta have the right timing for this because if you got you gotta do it fast enough to actually get through. Unscathed, I guess you could say. Yo, I'm just bouncing around from edge to edge. <laughs> All right, I made it somehow. <laughs> All right, what does this do? Probably unleashes the critters. No, it doesn't. Gives me a key. Key number two. Still looking for the elusive boss key, though. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Ah. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Anything? No prize? Nothing? Uh-uh. Maybe I have to kill everything? Or is this just the way back? Probably just the way back. Oh, I missed something. I regret this instantly. <laughs> eh. Okay, that was not... <laughs> nothing important, at least. Pick this up, throw it around. Pick this up, throw it around. At Penguinator. Eh, there we go. <laughs> Just as long as I'm safe from a distance here. Oh! I didn't move on the way fast enough and far enough. Magic potion. Mm. And it's gonna hit me. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna hit that and see where this leads. No, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Doesn't that lead to that four way. No, it doesn't. But what leads. Hold on. What is. What is this room? Oh, it's this room. Um. Um. Do we want to drop down that hole just yet? I'm not sure, actually. I forgot. I'm gonna leave that on my way back, I guess. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do not use all of your magic power if you do not possess the medicine of magic. I'll get ready to go into the depths of this dungeon. So, uh, well, maybe I should have brought in a green potion, but I'm not sure if I even need that because of the uh, um, the power of half magic, basically. And I should be able to refill by the time I get there. So, well, all you need to do um, when I get there is destroy the boss's shield, if I'm not mistaken it is. So, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Just a matter of when I get there, I gotta, gotta fire it to death. <laughs> okay, moving on. Trap room. Uh, what I'd like to do here is run here, go like this, and then oh, I missed time. That what I wanted to do was uh, get that one on the right side to move down. I mean, move to the left. But oh well, oh well. <laughs> All right, I can open this door with a key, and there's another key underneath that pot over there. So uh, okay, so that leads back here. Then where does? Where does this door lead to? Uh, Medusa room. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah! Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to see what was in the pots before I flopped down here. Alright, so it plops me back down here. Uh, that works. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, is there something here that's important? Just out of curiosity here. Let's see if there's... Because I know there's a, a room with a bombable wall that I gotta get to a little bit later on. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I know I'm messing around too much in this room, but... Yeah. Okay, now this is the other room that I wanted to come back to a little bit later because it's got that key. Uh, you go like that, you go like that. And you get a key. And then to reset this, you just go like this. And then you go back up the stairs. Like so. 
I could have probably did that the other way through, but I didn't really need to at the time. Mm, die, please. I zoom. <laughs> Why did I do that? Then I zoom right across. And should I bomb that wall? Probably. Because <laughs> I don't think that that's a uh, place that the upper path leads to. So let's plop this here, see where it leads. Yeah, It's just detail! <laughs> It's just detail. Mm, magic hammer, help me. Sword and bomb combo, help me. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. You know what, you can hit me. I, I don't really mind it at this point. <laughs> it's fine. I'll turn right back and I'll be able to uh, magic hammer my way in here. I think there's another skull knight. Yep. Right there. Void it. Slash it. Bomb it. You know the deal. <laughs> you can knock it down any which way. And I think pulling this gives you something. Yes. Opens that door. Dungeon map. Finally! <laughs> Finally, the dungeon map. This opens the door. Oh, it's a two-way type door thingabobber. Oh wait, this is... Yeah, I was supposed to go on this side. <laughs> and this right here is the big key. Yeah, all right. Now, all right, from this room, go left and then try your best to go down those stairs again because you need to get on that other side of that room. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh, I'm out of the way. <laughs> eh, oh, please stop. Please stop, Link. Just let, just go. Oh no. <laughs> this is truly the worst. I don't I don't think you realize just how bad that <laughs> that is. All right, so now this room officially. Uh, I'm not can I, like oh yeah, I can't even repel you with my sword. What I want to do is fall down here. And by the way, those suckers do a lot of damage. <laughs> now, opening this up will give you the blue mail. Yep, it halves the damage you take. Oh yeah. Oh baby. And oh man, do I ever need said anti fairy? <laughs> Fire rod! Ah! Okay, we're good. Do you pop out too? No, you do not. I'm going through here. <laughs> now, I don't remember which one I'm supposed to drop down, if it matters. Uh, but first, I'm gonna take care of you. As well as the stuff behind that said lock. Pff, behind the locked door. Oh no, I don't wanna use my fairies before the boss. The last thing that I want to do is restart this dungeon from the beginning. The last thing I want to do... Okay, so one of them goes... In, I mean, it, there's different sorts of openings there. Alright... Now, I want to go down there. I guess I gotta hit the switch in... This room, right? Oh, wait, this isn't... Hmm... Hmm? Ugh... You suck. <laughs> That just leads me back around here, and there's no switch. Um, I guess I guess you could say boundary around that floor, uh, because you know there's switches on other floors. But once you jump down to a certain point, you are you're stuck on that particular spot in terms of you know where the switch will have an effect on you. <clears throat> okay, so I guess this is something I got to switch over later. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I got the key for this right here, and oh shoot, oh shoot, I need you desperately. Oh, you do so much damage. <laughs> okay, I should always, always watch out for the freezers. Ah, oh, ah, oh, I'm feeling worn. All right, I need to use uh. Something for that. That something is coming up. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay. Oh no, you trickster! <laughs> that appears when I hit the switch. <laughs> All right, so that that makes me be allowed to go and do that rigmarole that I was talking about back over and up here. So I guess it was important now that I think about it to fall down those holes there. Well, 
They don't look like holes. They're, they're more, they look like torches, but yeah. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is hop down one of them. I don't think it matters which one I hop down. And, and, and... Oh, it's a fairy fountain. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Map. <laughs> um, hold on, hold on. No. That is incorrect. No. No. Mm, no. Hmm. I don't have the cane. I forgot how that works then. Uh, <laughs> and I don't think I need the cane to pull that off. Mm, hold on a sec. Uh, Hmm. Hmm. Uh-oh, I remember what I forgot. Okay, make sure that all the blue blocks are down. And now what you gotta do is, uh, go back up and around to, not this room here, um, it's a little bit back. This one right here, but we gotta be on the other side, I think. Yeah, I don't think this will work, because it's in the wrong position. Yeah, because you can only move one block down. I mean, one uh, move a block down, yeah, and that's what you gotta do to uh, hold the switch down. So we gotta do a little rigmarole, I guess you could say, around the dungeon to get back over there. But you know how to get uh, through this pathway here, don't you, if I'm not mistaken? If you were to take this way around, yeah, you probably know that, right, right, right? So I don't have to show it. And then you go down here. And now, from here, you'll be on the other side of this room. Which will allow you to follow a block down. And suddenly, this makes a whole lot more sense. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. My bad. <laughs> Alright, progress is a virtue. <laughs> Uh, I need that, I think. I mean, I need one of those statues, I think. Hold on, I'm gonna just move this out of the way. Hey, hey, you're not supposed to deal me damage when I pick that up. Because how am I supposed to avoid that? What? What, what, what? That's just, that's just blasphemy. That's craziness. Yeah, yeah it opens that. This doesn't do anything. <laughs> but yeah, I need to get around them like so. That's so why I needed to move that sucker over. And then we fall down here. And then we get to the boss known as Gold Stair! Yep, make sure your magic is upgraded, otherwise you're gonna probably need a green potion or two. All you gotta do is just keep attacking its body here with the fire rod. And take it out until there we go. And now we've got. Another kind of boss in a way, sorta. Of. Yeah, it's 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 really similar to that uh, one that bounced around the edge of the room, and that it, it always goes, you know, like t more towards. Oh, I should say it bounces around the walls, but in, in this case, it stops, and there's three of them. Yeah, <laughs> not a difficult boss by any means, but it's just a thing of that. Uh, You've come so far in this dungeon, you probably don't want to die at this point. So there's a lot of pressure on you to win this. <laughs> and I want it. Oh yeah. Hard dungeon, easy boss. <laughs> oh yeah. And this part took me 41 minutes to record because I was wandering around a lot, but a lot of that's going to be cut off, I know. So, but that's fine. <clears throat> All right. Think because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. They say the Hylia people control mysterious powers, as did the seven wise men. But the blood of the Hylia has become thin over time. We who carry the blood of the seven wise men do not possess strong power anymore either. Our powers will increase if we mix the courage of the knights with the wisdom of the wise men. Only a short time remains until the gate at the castle linking the worlds opens completely. If you defeat Ganon, this world will vanish, and the Triforce will wait for a new holder. I believe in you. Good luck. Yes, I understand what believing in me means. <laughs> May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. 
And with that, I'm going to end off the part here because I'm exhausted. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part when I go over to the next location. Oh, yeah.